Hey, if you're new here, I'm Eric, a key art and brand designer based in New York City. And today, I wanna to invite you to come with me on a creative walk. Since starting my freelance business, I've had some opportunities to work with some great new companies and clients. And while I'm thankful for it, more work means more time at the computer. And sometimes I just need a break from the computer screen and to get away from my claw fist for a while. I found that going outside for walks recenters and inspires me. I don't actually come up with my best ideas while I'm sitting down working. They usually hit me when I'm doing something else. It can be walking, cleaning, playing with the dogs, or working out. And then when I'm actually designing, it can feel good but it's also kind of draining. So I take these walks to replenish my creativity. Today, I wanna to invite you to come on a creative walk with me through Dumbo. It's a neighborhood in Brooklyn that we're gonna go check out and let's see what happens. The last time I was in Dumbo was for a friend's art show several years back. I think it's become a little more touristy over the years, but it's also an epicenter for a ton of art galleries and studios. If you didn't know, it's called Dumbo because it stands for Down Under the Manhattan Bridge Overpass. Since it's right on the East River, it makes sense that Dumbo used to be a big industrial hub in the late 19th century with a lot of warehouses and factories. But at some point, a lot of those businesses started to move away. I think it was around the 1970s when a lot of artists started coming back to the area because there were all of these vacant warehouses with tons of space and affordable rent. This continued through the 80s and 90s and led to the construction of Brooklyn Bridge Park, which is now one of the biggest tourist attractions in this area. The linear lines of the bridge against the textures of the street and the water views with all of this greenery is a lot to take in. I was in the area on a Saturday and the Brooklyn flea market was in full swing. This is a seasonal market that came back sometime in April and I'm pretty sure it continues each weekend throughout the summer. If you've ever been to New York City in the summertime, you'll know that there are tons of flea markets where you can find things like vintage clothing, jewelry, antiques, and other eclectic items like this pretty awesome collection of vinyl records. After coming out of the Brooklyn flea market, I was totally blown away by this spectacular, stunning view of the Manhattan Bridge. Something about the way that the buildings kind of frame the bridge in an almost perfectly symmetrical way just really caught my eye. This is a spot where tons of people like to stop and take photos and videos because it frames the view so nicely. And it literally looks like something that you could just snap a picture of and hang on your wall at home. I decided to stop for a few minutes just so I could take it all in but I can only take being in crowded places for so long. So I decided that I wanted to go and find a quieter street to check out. I stumbled upon this mural of elephants. And to be honest, at first I didn't understand why there were so many elephants everywhere. It took me like five minutes to remember that Dumbo is actually the name of a beloved Disney elephant. I saw the original movie when I was younger and I was reminded of the circus elephant with big ears that everyone made fun of until they realized that his big ears could actually help him fly. It was also nice seeing a series of illustrations with a common theme all done in the same style. There's something beautiful about a series of pieces that use the same elements and it makes me think a lot about cohesive branding and also character posters for movies. I've seen the Brooklyn Bridge many times and driven over it a handful of times too. Seeing the bridge from further away like this really felt like I was walking into another photo. Knowing that there are a lot of tourists and also artists in the area, I knew that there had to be some food and shops around and I almost immediately stumbled right into the timeout market. So I decided to go in and check it out. The market felt so open and spacious and it's like a really unique looking space that had these beautiful brick archways and it almost made me feel like I was walking into a coliseum. I was once again tempted to stop here and pick something up, but I decided that I wanted to keep going and see what other art I could find.
At this point though, I'd been walking for like two hours, not to mention the fact that it was a 90 degree day and I realized I had eaten nothing. That's when I saw La Bagel Delight and I decided to stop in to get a delicious chorizo egg and cheese on a toasted everything bagel. I also noticed the word mark on the awning of the bagel shop and I can honestly say that it does not do this place justice at all. I thought it might be fun if I snapped a few photos and maybe captured some video of the awning so that I could try and create something a little more modern and fun in another video. So stay tuned for that. Okay, I've got my sandwich now and I wanna find somewhere to eat it. On my way, I saw another mural with elephants. Look at these colors and abstract shapes, so beautiful. And inside of the mural was a quote that said, always be mindful of your ability to fly. I'm guessing that's probably a quote from the Dumbo movie as well, but if that ain't inspiring, I don't know what is. I love the vintage and retro style of these illustrations, and I'm happy to say that the recurring elephant theme was no longer lost on me. There was also a nice consistency to the colors that were carried throughout the series of ads, and the font pairings that were used were also really inspiring and unique. I love seeing stuff like this because it reminded me a lot of the old school Flash and Superman comic books that I used to read as a kid. A little detour brought me down a quieter block. I love the textures and paper tears on this second annual Six Point Art Show poster. I think some of the texture might have just been because the poster got rained on, but somehow it added to it. Texture is one of my favorite things to experiment with when I'm designing posters. I think using texture in creative ways can add depth and character, but distressed texture specifically can really help to add some wear and tear on top of photos and typography that makes it feel edgy and gritty. These glue posters were really weathered and worn, so it really spoke to me and the aesthetic that I'm most drawn to. I decided to snap a few shots of these posters in the wild so that I could try turning some of them into poster mock-ups for my own designs. This is one of my favorite ways to create realistic mock-ups. When I got to the end of the block, I found a path where I could actually see the Manhattan Bridge and the Brooklyn Bridge at the same time. Look at this view. Completely floored by how stunning this is, there's definitely a part of me that wishes rent was still affordable here. I've always loved being near the water and it felt felt very grounding and calming, despite the fact that it was about 90 degrees outside and I was still walking around with a chorizo egg and cheese sandwich in my backpack. I was caught up daydreaming about bagel sandwiches and I ended up running right into the Brooklyn Public Library. The first thing I noticed was the big bold type on the side of the building and it wasn't until I started to walk around it that I realized it spelled out library. It's interesting how our perspectives sometimes only allow us to see what's in front of us, but looking at things from a different angle can really put things into a whole new light. Besides the chunky serif lettering that was actually perfectly kerned, what makes this even cooler is the fact that this is the first time that the Brooklyn Public Library opened a new branch since 1983, and it's also the first public library Dumbo has ever had. I'm pretty sure they started building the library in 2020, but it took another year or two to finish because of the pandemic. So feeling all hungry and nostalgic, I finally found a great spot to chill and have my breakfast. It's crazy how, you know, I've been in the city for like 15 years probably, almost 15 years, and you can always walk around and find something new. You know, like I've been to Dumbo before, but I've never actually quite seen it like I have today. And it really, you know, it inspires me and it makes me remember like, why I love being in New York. Um, I think sometimes it's like, you know, you feel so crammed up inside in our little apartments and things like that, you know, and you kind of get a little bit stuck sometimes. So I think for the mental health aspect, it's really good just to be outside, getting some sun, sitting in the grass, just hanging out and walking around, you know. Um, really important to make time for those things because you know, we can't just be inside and working all the time. We really need to find that balance. And I think coming out here to Brooklyn and Dumbo today has been like a great way to try and do that. A lot of times if I'm looking for inspiration, especially for key art and branding projects, I tend to look at the same handful of websites like IMP Awards, Behance, and Pinterest. But seeing creative work out in the real world can be a great way to do this as well. And what better place to do this than New York City? Let me know if you're feeling inspired in the comments below and if there are other parts of the city you'd like to see and we'll go on another creative walk together. Thanks so much for watching. And if you wanna join me for a day at the office, 
Check out this day in my life as a graphic designer in NYC video next. Keep designing and we'll see you in the next one.